Hey guys, Carter viewing sets tree zero six two five Luke Skywalker with blue milk. This poly bag first leaked in I believe May twenty twenty, but officially was released this year on April fifth, twenty twenty two. Uh, currently there's only two ways to get it. That's have uh, either pre ordered the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga Deluxe Edition, or B if you spend seventy euro in I believe store in Lego stores. Or on Lego Shop at Home on May 4th, many Star Wars products. But all that said, let's get to the review. So, actually taking a look at Luke, which was this worth the wait of two plus years? It's hard to say, really. I think it's an okay minifigure. It's a good way to get a, a Farm Boy Luke's like, torso and legs and hairpiece pretty well. As well as to get Blue Milk, which you can see there is an exclusive printed piece. Uh, there is no other printing though on any of the other sides, it's just on the front with a bantha. Uh, removing Luke's hairpiece though reveals the exclusive hairpiece, or headpieces, uh, which you have there, like a winking face when he's drinking the milk with a blue mustache from the milk. At the back, a more kind of uh, shocked expression, I guess you could say. Which, yeah, there is a common trend in the game if you have played it where Luke is addicted to blue milk, which... I think this poly bag makes a lot more sense when you actually do play the game, but again, it's overall, it's pretty good. Just taking a look at uh, Luke's torso at the back, you can see sort of the belt kind of going all around, which doesn't wrap all the way, obviously, because, I mean, no Lego minifigures do that. But overall, this is a cool minifigure. I'm not really happy with the way Lego uh, disproduced it, though, because, like, again, it leaked in 2020, now it's really expensive. It's like up to, I think the highest I've ever seen is like maybe a hundred bucks just for this poly bag. But now that you can get it for 70 euro on May 4th, I don't really know how to feel because again, this was kind of promised as a pre-order exclusive thing for the Skywalker Saga Deluxe Edition, which I'm not mad. I mean, I was going to pre-order that game regardless, but it is a bit weird the way they distributed it. And honestly, I feel as though this is kind of a bad May 4th uh, promotion, but taking a look at it through the lens of how it was originally released as a, basically just a tie-in, if you pre-ordered the Skywalker Saga, I think it's pretty good, and a really nice freebie. Well, enough rambling, let's move on and look at the instructions. Which, on the back, the instructions reveal a very interesting fact about when we could have potentially gotten this uh, minifigure. On the front, you just have the instructions there, as well as the polybag art with the old uh, Vader look. But interesting enough about this, this is like not 2020 sets. This is like late 2019. Uh, obviously, just brought up by the fact that there is Rise of Skywalker sets. And there is also uh, the Snow Speeder there, which again was in 2019. Very interesting, I guess, because... Perhaps this minifigure was meant to release in 2019, but then get leaked in 2020, then get obviously revealed, or officially released, I should say, this year. Very interesting stuff, a very nice, uh, I guess, thing for Star Wars trivia. But while that's said, enough more, no more rambling. Let's take a look at the uh, polybag itself and my final opinions. Which, taking a look at the polybag art, it's nothing special. It's just the 2019. I think this, yeah, this was introduced in 2019, this, like, uh, wraparound box with the white with Vader in the corner. And obviously Luke and Tatooine in front of the Twin Sons. And this is there as seen in Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga, which, yeah, I mean, pretty accurate. I guess if you do want to see the back, there's nothing much to say. Because, again, it is a poly bag. Uh, overall, I think it's pretty good, again... A pretty bad May the Ford promotion. That that is quite shocking that Lego are actually reusing it. But again, as a nice pre-order bonus for getting Skywalker Saga, I think it's pretty neat. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And with all that said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.